So you're thinking about making a move to Rancho Bernardo? Well, that's exactly where I'm at right now. And if you're really thinking about making a move here and calling Rancho Bernardo home, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around because I'm gonna show you guys, well, I'm gonna show you a little hidden gem where I'm at right now. And then I'm gonna take you to about three different properties just to give you a better feel for some of the neighborhoods and some of the price ranges here in Rancho Bernardo to help you figure out if Rancho Bernardo is the place for you. So let's go ahead and get after it now. Welcome back. If this is your first time here and you like to know more about San Diego real estate or life here in San Diego, make sure you tap that subscribe button below. My name is Nick and you guys reach out all the time and I absolutely love helping you guys out. So if you're thinking about making a move here in a week, a month, a year, make sure you shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can help you save a lot of time and just help you make a smooth move here to San Diego or Rancho Bernardo. Now, as I mentioned, I wanted to show you guys this place because it's a really cool spot and I don't think enough people come here in. This is gonna be Bernardo Winery and there's a bunch of cool shops in here, especially this time of year. It's very festive and it has kind of like a country feel to it. It's got older buildings and there's a bunch of things to do in here. There's cute little gift shops. You have Bernardo Winery, which is some good wine. You have a restaurant. You also have uh, Manzanita coffee roasting, which you can grab lunch, you can grab breakfast or just grab a coffee. They got some good coffee in there, but you guys can see the vibe of this place. I'm in kind of the little park area. There's also a little wedding venue or event area back over there. And I wanted to take you guys just walking through there with my with my camera, but it's really busy and really noisy. So I just did some of that B-roll to show you guys, you know, what that's actually like in there. So super cool spot. But if Rancho Bernardo is on your radar, it's a pretty cool spot. It's a smaller town. It's right outside of Poway and it's right next to the 15. So you might've heard of it recently because Apple just acquired about a half a billion dollars worth of commercial real estate just to have a campus here. So it's gonna bring some higher paying jobs obviously, but you also have some other tech companies in the industrials over here in Rancho Bernardo. But it's right outside of some great communities. You have Forest Ranch, Del Sur, and even right here, you're only about 30, maybe 35 minutes from the beach, which is awesome. And not to mention if you have kids, you're in Poway Unified School District, so you're looking at schools that are rated eights and nines. So you really can't go wrong. And you have some beautiful homes here, which I'm gonna show you guys in a bit. And I just wanna, you know, do what I always do and and kind of give you guys a better feel of what to really expect with prices and homes here in Rancho Bernardo. So enough talking, let's go check out that first property. All right, so we just got to our first property here in Rancho Bernardo. This is gonna be the only townhome that we look at today. I wanted to show you a few different price ranges just so you know or just have a better expectation of where your budget might fall. So right now we're gonna be walking up to this townhome and first impressions is it's very quiet, it's very clean back here and the walkability is very convenient here because you're really close to a big shopping plaza right across the street. So you got a Barron's Market in there, you have a couple restaurant options and you're really close to the I-15. So this is gonna be great for commuters and it's not too tucked in in Rancho Bernardo, but you can kind of get a, a hint and a feel for this complex. I really like these trees because in the summertime, Rancho Bernardo is going to get pretty darn warm. You can pretty much like Poway, anything that's close to the 15 is going to get a lot warmer than some of the coastal cities like Carlsbad or Del Mar and things like that. So keep that in mind. But this one's actually gonna be on a golf course too. It's on the Rancho Bernardo Inn, which is a spa, and they have a golf course as well. And they actually have, not only do you get a one car parking garage, but you also, also get a one golf cart parking garage. So there's, there's plenty of them around. So if you don't have a golf cart, you can always use it as storage, which is pretty nice. But we're walking up to this townhome now. It's gonna be this guy behind me, and it's going to be a two bedroom two and a half bath at about 1,500 square feet. And the asking price is about $730,000. So it puts the price per square foot right in the high fours. But you can see by those pictures, you know, parts of it have been redone like the bathrooms, but it looks like the kitchen might need a little bit of updating, but I really like those vaulted ceilings. So that's kind of what you can expect in this price range. And you're really gonna not find any single family homes until about that nine 
hundred to a million dollar range. That's when you start seeing more single family homes if that's what you're looking for. So we're gonna look at some of those next, but keep that in mind if your budget's below a million or maybe the sixes, the sevens, you're going to have more options for condos and townhomes. And not to mention right up the street, only about five minutes is the new Apple headquarters here in San Diego. So that's about a half a billion dollars that they spent on that new campus. So maybe you're gonna be working there. This could be a really good option. So keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and check out the next house. Okay, so we just got to our second neighborhood over here in Rancho Bernardo, and this time we're gonna be looking at a single family home, and it's actually gonna be a single story as well and man today was the wrong day to wear a thermal because i'm huffing and puffing it is pretty hot out here and it's it's the end of december and it's probably about 70 right now so kind of funny I, I left the coast i live over on the coast and it literally took me about 30 minutes to get here and it was probably like 60 62 when i left the house so anyways enough with my rant let's go check out this house and keep in mind i've already said this before a lot of 55 and up communities here in rancho bernardo so you really have to pay attention in those listing descriptions to see but this one isn't going to be nothing's going to be in our video today and you can see a lot of two stories a lot of single stories but most homes in rancho bernardo are going to be two stories and they're going to be in HOA communities just like this. HOAs are pretty low usually about a hundred bucks a month and it just keeps your neighbors in check and keeps the community just looking nice which is good for the value. So keep that in mind not all HOAs are bad but it's going to be this house behind me and you can see it's going to be a three bedroom two bath at about 1500 square feet and the asking price is just shy of about 1.1 million dollars so it puts a price per square foot right in the mid to low 700s a square foot so you know price per square foot is going to go up but you could see by those photos it's completely done and it's been renovated the kitchen looks great bathrooms look great i really like the outdoor space in that house as well and again you're in a very convenient zone most of rancho bernardo you're going to be and first off, you're gonna have a really good school district. You're gonna be part of the Poway School District, which is one of the best in San Diego. But you're gonna be close to shopping. This one, you have some really good shopping centers about two, three minute drive away, and you're really close to the 15, which it's kind of a bummer, but you can kind of hear the 15 from where I'm at right now. But I'm sure inside the house, you can't really hear it. And keep that in mind, guys, you have to be really patient because right now, end of December, 2022, there's just no inventory. There's no homes for sale in San Diego. Right now we have about 38 to 3,900 homes for sale in San Diego County. And our population is about 3.3 million people. So that is very mind boggling to me. So it's really hard to find a good home in a good area right now. So you have to be able to act fast and, and just know the neighborhoods and you know keep that in mind when you're looking for a turnkey renovated home, it's going to take a lot longer to find. You need to have a little bit more patience but if you're okay with finding something that just needs some updates whether it be a time capsule which i like to call just something that's you know all original it's good because you can do the renovations to your liking and you're really just bringing up the value but you really have to know these neighborhoods so get yourself a good broker or somebody like myself to help you find a good area but anyways let's go ahead and check out the final house Okay, so we are now in our final neighborhood, our final property here in Rancho Bernardo. And this time we jumped up a bit in price. We're at about $2 million. Uh, this neighborhood in general is about one and a half to two and a half million dollars. Really nice homes back over here. But I wanted to show you kind of what that price range gets as well because we'll walk up to the house right now but right now there really wasn't many options in between that 1.2 to 1.7 million dollar price range there just wasn't anything worth showing you guys so i did want to show you guys that rancho bernardo and places like poway if you want a bigger home and something that's more of like an estate type of feel then you can definitely find that in rancho bernardo and you can definitely find it in poway as well but you can see this is more of like an exclusive community it's going to be gated and just some really gorgeous homes and even the one that we're about to look at right now has some really good views off the back so it's going to be this guy directly behind me and it's going to be a four bedroom four bath at about 3600 square feet 
and the price is two million dollars well just shy of two million dollars so it puts the price per square foot right in the mid 500 so bigger homes usually you're going to have a lower price per square foot but you can see that was a very gorgeous home i mean it's got a pool in the back and it has some really good views it could use a few updates in places like the bathroom but the kitchen looked really good and it's a bigger size home and it's got a three car garage which is which is nice i think all these homes in here have three car garages so you know keep that in mind with rancher bernardo is you can find condos starting at about five hundred thousand dollars and you can find big beautiful estates going all the way up to the mid threes really mid three million so keep that in mind Depending on where you're looking, whether it be Poway, Rancho Bernardo, I have a ton of other videos that they're the same thing. I, I do vlog style and I do map tours just to kind of give you guys a better feeling of what it's actually like to call those places home. So if you have any questions on Rancho Bernardo or anything else and you need someone to help you, feel free to reach out because me and my team would love to help you make a smooth move here to San Diego and I will see you guys in the next one.